Hello everyone, and welcome back to The End is Nigh. Hope you're doing well out there. Once again, we are joined by Wolf Rikana. Rakana. Yeah. As I try to get that collectible, which is just out of reach. Again, hope you're doing well out there. <laughs> Just, and I can already see some issues starting to crop up as we go. If everything is the same color and starts to look the same, how will you know what is a collectible and what isn't? That is a good question. Again, the way I see it is if this game came out before me, boy, this would make sense. After, couldn't tell you. Yeah, this game came out way after, like 2017. Yeah, well, I, I really have no answer for this. Everything is nasty and gross. In other words, a Macmillan staple. Yep. And yes, I know it may appear that I'm not have, being as enthused, but um, it's not the game's fault. I'm gonna let you in on a little bit back information here. This is actually the second time we're going through this. Because my recording software decided to screw up. It would yeah, just still for screen some it. Decided not to capture, so. Here we are! Trying to do a jump I did already and dying just as many times as before. Character development! I have none. Hey! I made it! I'm a fluke again! Yeah! Is that Steve? So, Sonic Colors isn't the only game I ended up getting him into. Like also got him in the house for me. This ride requires, this ride requires 50 light times of suffering to enter. Please return when your tomb ride is grown. We will be waiting. Yeah, she got me into house flipper. I'm not sure how to describe that game aside. It's a game in a market that's living it up because there's no other games on said market. There's no other competition yeah. for what it offers, so... Now, if only we could get a little bit more content for the Switch, that'd be great. We can run we can have to put it in for, uh... Put it in for Steam as well. Yep. It is available on computers, just, um... I'm a lot more comfortable on, on a console, let's just say that. Yeah, yes, I'm playing I in... Am too. Go ahead. There's a bit more content on the PC, though. Yeah. Although I am currently playing End of Night on the PC, I would have much preferred it on something like the Switch. Just because it's a lot comfier to play on. And yes, I'm going to use that argument. There are others close by. Crazies who believe in what they call the Ascension. They hide just out of view. Some are above, some are below. Don't try and find them, and definitely never speak to them. Stick to the linear path, kid. Exploration can only lead to disappointment. I explored myself once. And now I'm dead. Think about it. I don't want to. Instead, I'm just going to go down that hole. I said I'm going to go down that hole. I am now going down that hole. I will definitely make it down that hole. I am now going down that hole and there's nothing stopping me. There is nothing stopping me this time. Okay, that was a just practice. Let's do it again. Okay, that was good practice. Now let's actually get in there. Get in the fucking hole! See? I did it. 
Ah, uh, and the Hall of the Mountain King. Everyone knows this classical song. Which Sonic <laughs> actually introduced me to this, uh, this particular song. But yeah, back on the topic of Sonic Unleashed, since she brought up Sonic. Of all games, I didn't expect to actually like Sonic Unleashed because Werehog. Just To Werehog. be fair, the Werehog got a lot of got a lot of uh, a lot of harsh words because it quote unquote broke the gameplay. And it turned out to be one of my favorite Sonic games. But I'm still trying to figure out how that happened. I just realized there's a lip off of that one that we can hang from. Hmm. I am totally not stalling because I'm one here in the Hall of the Mountain King. Totally not. Can't prove it. This song will always hold a special place in my heart, especially Apocalyptica's cover of it. Got it! One of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. Alrighty then. Maybe that person has some truth about not talking to them. Yeah, I would think so. I feel like I need an adult after talking to that guy. I am an adult. I need my magic conch. Wait a minute. I can use R2 here to grab this. It does seem like you can hang indefinitely, which is kind of good. I really don't know, because sometimes it just decides not to hang on. Well, that's why I said it seems like it. Because I don't think you can or is supposed to. Here we go. And no, technically that's not the run button because it doesn't really change your speed. Hey! Bounce pads! Yes. We got I mentioned one of your favorite games! No, no you did not. But you always tell me how much you love that one. No, I don't love that one. They don't talk much at all. I don't remember that being a role. Boing. And screwed up. That's yeah, great, I don't need that. So this is kinda helping you a little bit with uh with Sonic Colors on Command when it releases. Oh yep. Yeah, they have trampolines that move. But the good news is it kind of moves along with you, so you don't have to worry too much about it. And watch this. It's black magic sorcery. The boxes go in a perfect square. And then you come out here and you're just like, why? Why? 
why. But yeah, this is technically our second time going through this area, which I can give you guys a blind impression. Because when I did the blind impression, it was quite funny, even in my opinion. Yeah, you can jump on these guys. Which I've always enjoyed that. I've always enjoyed finding little things like that in games. Sonic 3 being one of them. Damon make little noises as you jump on them. Actually, they just make noises in general. Yes. Feels good, man. By the way, I'm not cutting anything out. That's just how quick you respawn. Yeah. Real time for good here. There we go. Made it through. Oh no. I remember this part, and I should, it was only like 30 minutes ago. Yeah. I didn't realize that being in part of the apocalypse means everything is slow. Now, you see, I would repeat my statement that I did last time, but uh... You kind of intentionally put yourself there. What? <laughs> After saying what you said, you kind of jumped into it directly when, you know, last time you were closer to the end when you jumped into it. And I was saying, well, you talked crap about the fact the apocalypse was slow. <laughs> I called shenanigans on that one. I was through to the other side of the screen. But still counts as a death because the next row spawned. You were actually on the exit zone when you died there, so I don't understand how that happened. Oh, this one. Yeah, and just to summarize this one, my first playthrough, pain. A lot of pain. Let's just say I got really good at that one because it hurt me too much. <laughs> there we go. Now, supposedly, there's a crazy in here we can talk to. Mm. And the other one was a blast to talk to, so I want to see what kind of wisdom this one has to share. I guess, done. The wisdom is... The wisdom is, don't die, because it's bad. It's a shame, you don't really have a whole lot of maneuverability when you're in the... when you're in the air. You kind of do, but at the same time, you kind of don't. I mean, you do, but at the same time, it kind of drops like a lift.
please don't touch me, please don't touch me, please don't touch me, please don't touch me. Uh, yes! Oh! You almost touched you. Stranger danger. Hey, dude! That there is water, dude! Your charred skin looks a bit chap. Maybe you should take a dip, dude. You dip? Ha, ah, gotcha! Anyways, if you want to dive, just bear down. Jumping will kick what's left off the, of that foot. Give it a go, dude! And on that note, we're going to call the episode here. What? Strong pretty vibes with that one. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. See you later. Dude!